Hey everyone, Christopher Beast here, and in today's video I'll be covering an upcoming release for PlayStation and Steam, Stray. This game features a lone cat trying to explore and survive following the collapse of a steampunk robot society. So without really any further delay, let's just get right into this. So what is Stray? Stray is a game about a cat who is lost and alone in a collapsed post-apocalyptic robotic society. You play as this cat, made to navigate and problem solve your way through various areas and puzzles and try and reunite with your lost family. On your way you will come across robots, lost beings left behind from the civilization's heyday, who now live in these wastes trying their best to survive as well. Some of these robots will help you on your journey, providing assistance and aid. And one particular robot named B12 will tag along with you for the adventure, providing a helpful little assistant buddy for your journey. However, these robots are not the only beings that live in these wastes. As scuttling around, there are also creatures and aliens that will do their best to make you their max meal. But what else do we know about this game? Well, the devs have provided us with a series of trailers to show the game off, and I think by watching and analyzing those trailers, we can pick up on even more details about the game. So starting off with the first trailer, this gives us just a general sneak peek of the game, and I actually used this trailer's footage for the intro of this video. So we can safely move on to the next video. This video is in part a gameplay showcase, providing large amounts of gameplay as opposed to the very cinematic trailer shown earlier. It is from this gameplay that we first see the puzzle solving that will likely define this game's gameplay. In this particular example, by gathering a can we are able to throw it onto the fan and prevent the fan from moving letting us continue on our path. This is a pretty normal type of puzzle, but the fact we are a cat certainly adds to it. We also see another example of a puzzle with the pushing of a paint bucket down. Moving forward a touch later, this trailer finally introduces us to B12, and shows of how we will work, providing an extension to yourself, allowing you to complete puzzles and tasks too complicated for our cute little cat paws. Following this, we see more gameplay of what parkour will be like, as instead of just jumping in a direction and praying to your god that you will latch onto it, you instead will press a key to jump onto that specific ledge. This is a far better system than most other games with high mobility, so I'm going to welcome that with open arms. Doing a few more jumps, our cute little cat arrives at a vending machine, showing us our first look at not just regular loot, but also power-ups, suggesting that there will be consumables and loot to scavenge around for. Next, we see the cat entering a bar, and the robot that is weaving said bar seemingly is intimidated or scared of us. I'll get back into this when we get to the next trailer, though. As in the next scene, they show that you will be able to do very cat-like things, just for the sake of being a cat, such as clawing up furniture and rubbing up against people's legs. Following that adorable display, we get a look at the main enemies in this game, the aliens. The aliens shown in this clip are small and travel in packs, and make some cute little gerbil-like noises. These enemies spout a pretty high speed, though our cat is faster. The footage continues showing what a chase is like, as the cat must use its only slightly higher speed of mobility to maneuver and avoid the creatures. We also see that should you accidentally be a touch too slow and you get attacked by one of these boys, you don't have to worry too much as a hit of a button will flick these babies right off of you. But again, don't be too lenient as I doubt the cat is immortal. We then see a clip of the cat riding in a cart, destroying the beasties. This is very likely just a special part of a particular mission, but it really does look badass. We get more chase footage and more puzzle solving before it transitions over to one of our likely allies in this game, the Doc. This robot seemingly will supply us with gear and equipment to fight back against the aliens. Finally, the trailer ends showing off our cat retrieving an item for a musician who plays some sick beats confirming that this game will have side quests in addition to its already amazing looking main story. Now we can move on to the last trailer. This trailer starts off with a shot of our cat walking down an alley, and a robot down the alley freaking out as it sees us, and flipping an emergency lever. As I said earlier, there's a high chance that the robots in this world don't really know what cats are, and they assume that they, cats are either a type of alien, or that the aliens could possibly be a virus and our cat could be infected. Now, this most likely isn't going to be all robots, but the robots in this case are clearly afraid of our character. Then we see the character uh, venturing, passing by various locations, including large clusters of what seems to be the alien eggs. We then get a clip of the cat cleaning itself before its eyes flash a little bit, which could be a sign of the infection or could be a sign of some nanotechnology. Following this, we get a clip of some nicer robots who are not afraid of the cat, 
and see if we want to help us out. We get some more clips of the chat's adventures before showing it hiding out in a box to avoid detection from a drone, showcasing how stealth will likely be required to survive the many dangers in the wastes. The stealth scene transitions to the cat running away after being detected, using its high speed to avoid enemy attacks, and then doing some quick transitions to show the cat just doing various things on its adventures. First, we see the robot crouch down. Not too sure what, what is going on in this scene, but we'll probably understand when the game actually releases. Then we see the cat riding in a bucket, the cat sprinting through a dark area with what looks like alien goo falling from the ceiling, and finally, we see this massive eye and what I'm going to assume is the nest of the aliens, most likely near the very end of the game. The trailer concludes with the cat walking towards a giant underground tree in what I will assume is a massive hub or safe zone. With the analysis of the trailers done, I also wanted to take a second to look at the developers and producers behind this game. This game is being developed by Blue 12 Studio, a group of devs from southern France. They have no real significant other products to their name from what I could find. If you guys can find anything, let me know. But the producer for this game is a little bit of a different story. Annapura Interactive have been involved in the production of many very high quality puzzle and story games, including, but really not limited to, What Remains of Edith Finch, Gora Dora, and Kentucky Route Zero. All games that I hold at least in some pretty high regard. But that's really all we know about this game so far. I am extremely excited for the release of this game on July 19th, and I know I'll be playing it as soon as it releases. But really, until then, this has been Christopher Beast, and I hope to see you all next time.